and we're at the Nashville Summer NAM 2011. We're at the PreSonus booth, and uh, I'm here with Rick. We're going to talk about their new audio box interfaces and their uh, digital mixer. All right, tell us a little bit about it, Rick. All right, so uh, we actually are introducing three new USB 2.0 interfaces, uh, the AudioBox VSL family. So at the top, we've got the AudioBox 22, which has two analog inputs, two analog outputs, headphone output, and MIDI in and out. Then we've got the AudioBox 44. This one has four analog ins and four analog outs plus MIDI input and output and headphone. And then last but not least, we have the AudioBox 1818 VSL. It has eight analog inputs and outputs, and on the back, you've got eight channels of ADAT light pipe and eight channels of SPDIF, plus MIDI input and output. And all three of these feature a new technology called VSL which stands for Virtual Studio Live. So basically what we did is we took the EQ and dynamic section of the Studio Live mixers, plus the two built-in digital reverbs that the Studio Live mixers have, and we put them into these recording interfaces. The purpose of that is, is so that when you're recording, you can set up really nice headphone mixes for your musicians with EQ, compression, gate on all of the inputs, plus you have two separate effects processors that you can really add a little reverb to vocals, you know, a little delay, whatever you want, and that really enhances the recording experience. So let me show you the software now that comes with the uh, AudioBox series. This is the Virtual Studio Live control panel, and uh, right now I'm showing the control panel for the AudioBox 44. And as you can see, you know, you've got all of your inputs right here. You've got your DAW returns coming from the computer right here. And you know I can go to any channel and double click and pop open an EQ and just grab a point and be able to EQ. And then on these tabs right here, I can go to the compressor as well as the noise gate. I have a high pass filter that you can engage as well as phase reverse for any of those channels. Now, what we did is we actually kind of borrowed some of the workflow from our DAW Studio One. And if you look on the right hand side, you can see here's a list of, of different presets. Uh, these are preset uh, fat channel settings. And so if I want any of these uh, as a starting point, I can literally just click, drag, and drop directly onto any channel. And now I've, I have that preset right here on that channel. And uh, so this is a really good way to you know, get a starting point. And then, of course, you can tweak this and make your own presets up. Now, the same goes with scene memory. So, you know, I, I, have, I can set up different scenes. So, like, let, here's a reset scene that'll get everything to zero. The scenes across the board. And the, the scenes are across the board. That's all of your EQs, uh, reverb settings, your aux settings for, you know, every channel. And it's really right here, ready to go. And the presets are kind of individual channels, usually, or they can be... That's right. The okay. presets for individual channels. And then the uh, the scenes are for the entire, uh, you know, all of the inputs and outputs. Are they just like uh, your guys' effects, or do you put like VSTs or audio units or anything? No, th uh, these are our effects, but our these effects. are these are done basically before you record. Okay, so the way that it works is this: like when I'm here in this in this uh, this overview page, let's say you know I, I get this sounding really good in the headphones and I want to go ahead and record this to my DAW. I just go up here to the top, and you see where it says post? If I engage the post button, that will actually then commit these settings to the recording. Now, of course, I still have the ability you know, to, to add VST or audio units effects after the fact, but this is a way to get a little bit of you know, EQ and dynamics for your monitoring, as well as you know, as kind of like a pre uh, kind of EQ and dynamics going into the computer. Okay, is this on Mac and PC? It's on Mac and PC. And the other thing that's really cool, all of these interfaces ship with Studio One Artist. And uh, Studio One Artist is our recording software for Mac and PC. And it, it features unlimited audio tracks, unlimited MIDI tracks. You have six gigabytes of 
content, drum loops, virtual instruments, plugins that you can use after the fact. Okay. Do they come with a, does it come like a, a light version of your guys? DOM yes. Software? Yeah, that's uh -huh. called Studio One Artist. Studio One that's Artist, right. okay. And then you can upgrade to the... Uh... That's right. Okay. And it, uh, what happens is, is when you buy any one of our interfaces or mixers, you get Studio One Artist in the box for free. And if you want to upgrade to Studio One Pro, which gives you a lot of more features, it gives you mastering, it gives you third-party VST compatibility, it gives you video support, uh, it's only $200. So you save 50% by uh, basically buying the upgrade rather than the full version. Okay. Are these out now? With the they're, they're shipping in 30 days. Uh, oh. The first one, the AudioBox 22. It, it has a, the, the, the AudioBox 22, which is the small one, has a US map price of two hundred dollars, one ninety nine. The forty four is two ninety nine and the eighteen eighteen is four ninety nine. So that's three USB interfaces below five hundred bucks. Yeah, that's awesome. What uh what do they record up to? They go forty four, forty eight, ninety six They go to ninety six K. Ninety six K, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Do they have um, phantom power on the uh Yes. And the mic inputs. Yep, on all of the mic inputs you have phantom power. By the way, these are the same mic preamps that are in our Studio Live mixers. Uh, they're the X-Max mic pre. It's a Class A, high voltage mic pre design. Uh, sounds really great. They're very, very quiet. Um, have a, a really wide dynamic range. Oh, cool. So. All right, let's talk about the, uh, the Studio Live 160.2, huh? Right, so this is the Studio Live 1602. This is our new digital console. This is the smallest in a family of three different digital consoles. And so this one features 16 analog inputs. You have 12 mic pre's, and then the last four channels have line level stereo inputs. So it's a total of 16 analog ins. And each channel features this blue section, which is the fat channel strip. So you have high pass filter, noise gate, compressor, limiter, and a three band EQ and on any selected channel. So if I select channel three, here's all my settings for channel three. Select channel eight, here's all my settings for channel eight. I also have two built in 32 bit effects processors and I also have four aux sends plus a 31 band graphic EQ that I can basically put on the master bus. Um, the 1602, in addition to being a live song, sound mixer, will allow you to also record all of your analog inputs to the computer. And you can also play back tracks from the computer by hitting this Firewire button. Now I can bring in streams from the computer and blend them in with my analog inputs. Okay, so it's Firewire 400 or 800? Or? It's Firewire 400, Firewire. but it's totally compatible with Firewire 800 as okay. well. Does it have MIDI control too from here? Yes, it does. It has a MIDI I.O. on the back, and you can hook up a foot switch to be able to turn off your effects and uh, change scenes and that kind of a thing as well. And you know, can you do like an automated mixing and things, huh? No, it's not a control surface. Oh, so not a control surface. It basically is a uh, front end for your DAW. Okay. It allows you to be able to, you know, set up really nice headphone mixes with, uh, with, with reverb, and and record those. And uh, of course, you can play back tracks through it as well. Now, the other thing is this mixer also ships with Studio One Artist uh, recording software, and it also ships with our live recording software called Capture. Capture, OK. And when will this be shipping, you think? This one is now shipping, oh, and it's no. available worldwide. OK. What's the street price, you think? The street price is $12.99. Oh, OK. Very cool. Thanks, Rick. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate